أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وآل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين الأمة والمهديين وسلم تسليما كثيرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In the Saudi segment insha'Allah we'll be discussing about who are those who call to the sun and moon and before we proceed about this explanation uh, we will begin by speaking about the hadith from Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam narrated from Mufadl ibn Umar and uh, this hadith says that Mufadl ibn Umar asks Imam al-Sadiq he says is there for the Ma'mur the one who is commanded awaited Mahdi peace be upon him a time whom the people know so he said peace be upon him Allah hasn't willed to give a time of his appearance during a time when our Shias will know I said meaning Mufadl ibn Umar O oh, Master why is that he said, Peace be upon him, because he is the hour that Allah the Most High said about. They ask you about the hour, when will it rise? Say, the knowledge is with my Lord. It will not manifest for its time, except he. It became heavy in the heavens and the earth. Surah Al-A'raf, verse 187. And then Imam Sadiq alayhi salam says, And it is the hour, a sa'ah, that Allah said about. They ask you about the hour, when will it rise? And said, And with him is the knowledge of the hour. And he didn't say it is with anybody. Surah Al-Nazi'at verse 42. And then he says, Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, Do they wait for the hour to come to them by surprise for its conditions have come? Surah Al-Luqman verse 34. And then he says, The hour came near and the moon has been split. Surah Al-Qamar verse 1. Uh, Bisharat Al-Islam page 352. So in this narration, Imam Sadiq alayhi salam is giving us verses from the Quran Al-Kareem that uh, tell us that the hour in these verses as is Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam and so uh, when we look into the hadiths of Ahl al-Bayt alayhi salam when they speak about for example they interpret the hour it refers to a man and what is interesting is that the last verse in which Imam Sadiq alayhi salam mentions the hour came near and the moon has been split the moon here, according to the hadith of Ahl al-Bayt it's interpreted into the wasi, the successor. So who is the successor? Which is, uh, now since we have talked about the moon, it is one of the conditions before the hour. And we know that in Surah Al-Quran it says, do they wait for the hour to come to them by surprise? For its conditions have come. So one of the conditions of the hour, as sa'a is the moon. And Ahlul Bayt interpret the moon to be a successor. So who is the successor that comes before Imam al-Mahdi And we know that the successor that comes before Imam al-Mahdi, peace be upon him, is the, the wasi which was, uh, who is uh, mentioned in the will of the Prophet Muhammad wasalam, to be Ahmed. The successor of Imam al-Mahdi, peace be upon him, is Ahmed and the Yamani that comes before Imam al-Mahdi and that guides and calls to the truth and to the straight path. Now, since we understand that the wasi and the successor of Imam al-Mahdi is the moon and the hour as sa'a is Imam al-Mahdi, peace be upon him. Let's look at what Imam Ahmad al-Hasad said in page 204, uh, Kitab al-Mutashabihat, the book of the allegories. He says, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, And we have erased the sign of the night. Surah Al-Isra, verse 12. And so, the sign of the night is the moon. And he is the successor. And he is a hujja upon the creation also. And erasing him means that oppression and darkness. Erasing the night means erasing the oppression and darkness. After when it covered the truth. And it prevented the truth. And so nothing will flow save the command of Allah, the exalted and mighty. So the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it will come after when the sign, uh, after when the night has been removed. The sign of the night is the moon. The successor will arrive during the time after when the, the oppression has been removed. So nothing will will flow, say the command of Allah, the exalted and mighty, and that is why Allah referred to himself, the exalted and most high, and if the exalted willed, he would have revealed the sign of the night, and it is the moon, and successor 
as for the circumstance in the time of Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam. And so when we read uh, this hadith that which uh, Sayyid ibn Tawus radiallahu anhu mentioned in the book uh, Sa'ad al-Sa'ud, uh, it says, I have read in the book of Idris, peace be upon him, the Prophet, peace be upon him, that during the question of Iblis and the answer of Allah to him, he said, O Lord, wait for me until the day they are resurrected. So he said, No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, No, but you are among those who will wait until the decreed time. al waqt al-ma'loom. For it is a day in which I have judged and made it inevitable to purify this earth. On that day, from the disbelief and polytheism and sins, and will elect for that time servants whom I've tested their hearts for faith, end of times, and stuffed with, uh, stuffed them with piety, sincerity, certitude, and taqwa, fearing Allah, reverence, and truth, and meekness, and patience, and peacefulness, and good works, and asceticism in the dunya, in the dunya, in the world, and a desire for what I have, and I shall make them among those who call to the sun and moon and have them inherit the earth and empower for them their religion with which I've been pleased of for them and then they worship me and not partner with me anybody they establish prayers on time and pay the poor rate when it's required they enjoin good and forbid evil and during that time I shall place the trust al amana on this earth and not a thing shall harm a thing and not a thing shall fear a thing so let's focus on this hadith Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I shall make them among those who call to the sun and moon. Sun and moon here is not referring to the physical sun which shines bright at day and the moon which comes at the night, the physical moon. It's not talking about physical celestial bodies. It is speaking about men, two men, whom these servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will call to these two men. Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam is the sun. And the moon is the successor. Like how the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, it's interpreted according to the hadiths of Ahl Bayt salam, that the Prophet Muhammad is the sun and Imam Ali salam, is the moon. So who are those uh, two men who arise and arrive at the end of time and they are called the sun and moon and the servants of Allah called towards them? It is, the fact of the matter is that the sun and moon is Imam Mahdi salam, and his successor Ahmed who is mentioned in the will of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And those who will inherit the earth are the 313 companions of Imam Mahdi salam, And also for the Ansars of Imam Mahdi, the 10,000, the supporters, uh, the uh, the round in which Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, uh, mentioned in one of the narrations of Ahl bayt peace be upon him. And it's mentioned in Bihar al-Anwar. So, and it also talks about that these people, they worship Allah and do not partner with anybody in worshiping Him. They establish prayers on time, pay the poor rate when it's required. They enjoy good and forbid evil. And during that time, I shall place the trust, Al-Amana, on this earth. Al-Amana is the wilaya, the wilaya of Ahl Bayt, salam. And the wilaya of Ahl Bayt, peace be upon them. As we know that Imam Ahmad al-Hassan alayhi salam, Ahmad the Yamani has a wilaya from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that people have to pledge allegiance to the Yamani. Innaha la ahdal kubar. That the wilaya of Ahl Bayt alayhi salam is among the greatest signs. Is among the greatest signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before the emergence of the hour Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam. And so, at the end of time, so we have to ask ourselves, is it logical to say that the 313 Anasars are going to invite people to a sun and moon? Physical sun and moon? Of course not. Because if we take it with this meaning, it's going to sound very disturbing to someone who is a monotheist, a muwahid, because polytheism, uh, they, in polytheism, it's allowed to worship the sun and moon and take and believe in more than one God. So here the sun and moon is symbolic which speaks about two figures which are alive at the end of time and that is Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam and his successor the first Mahdi Ahmed. So the Sars will invite people towards them. And then 
Uh, we shall end with this hadith from Ali, son of Ibrahim, son of Mihziar, from Imam al-Mahdi, peace be upon him. I am in taqiyya until the day I am given permission, so then I will emerge. Imam al-Mahdi says that he is in taqiyya until the day I am given permission, so then I will emerge. So I said, O oh Master, what will this matter be? He said, If there was an obstacle between you and the way to the Kaaba, and the sun and moon were joined together, and the planets orbited them and the stars, all symbolic, the sun and moon is symbolic, and the planets and the stars are also symbolic. When, O son of the Messenger of Allah, so he said to me, During a year of such and such, the beast of the earth shall emerge from between the Safa and Marwa, and with him is the staff of Moses and the ring of Sulaiman to lead the people to the Mahshar. And when we read the Quran, it says, And the sun and moon are joined together in Surah. Uh, you can go to chapter 75, verse 9. So here, the sun and moon are the same people whom. Uh, as when we read from Sayyid ibn Tawus, he narrates that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that there will be servants of Allah who call towards the sun and moon at the end of time. So the sun and moon here is Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam joining together, Imam al-Mahdi peace be upon him and the Yamani peace be upon him. And we can also say that when we mention the planets and the stars, they are also great servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And since they orbit around the the sun and the moon, we understand by this explanation that they invite and call towards the sun and moon. And uh, they are the servants of Allah, they are Ansars, they are supporters of the uh, the sun and moon. Meaning Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam and the successor Imam Ahmad al-Hasan alayhi salam, the Yamani, who is the minister, the vizier, the successor of Imam al-Mahdi, Muhammad ibn al-Hasan, peace be upon him. And so we end with this audio segment. Wassalamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala bayti al-tayyibina al-tahirin al-imnata wa al-mahdiyina wa sallam taslima kathira.